Yeah. Yes, the question was, um, when we talk about God as being love, how does the wrath fit in? Are they balanced off against each other? And should we prefer one over the other? Why not? God satisfied his wrath, for instance, on the cross, according to the chorus. Uh, why not say, no, didn't God satisfy his love on the cross? Um, so, yes, these are um, kind of puzzles to, to put together. And, you know, you have, you have verses together. But one of the things you want to find is, there, is there, are there places in Scripture that itself coordinates or brings together in some kind of connection uh, the two. So you want to look in scripture and say is, well, instead of me saying there's two things, how can I get them to come together or tip one way or the other? Um, is there, are there places in scripture where they're actually brought together? And so, for instance, a verse is, his compassion or his covenant love endures forever, but his wrath is just for a moment. See, there are, there are scriptures that point, that bring the two together. Um, and every time they are brought together, they're brought together not as equal and opposites. They're always brought together in kind of this asymmetrical way where the primary thing, uh, see, so that your covenant love lasts forever, but your wrath is just for a moment. Well, what's the primary thing that the psalmist is getting at there? Well, God is primarily his compassionate love. So his wrath is just for a moment. That's not going to exist. So when they bring them together, uh, you see that also other verses that talk, talk about God's type of wrath is, is that I will relent. I will not punish forever because I am God, not man. So God also indicates that his wrath is not like human wrath. Um, so you have to pay attention to kind of all these bits and pieces instead of just leaving and saying as well their intention. Well, who says their intention? So sometimes we think, well, in our experience, their intention, you know, sometimes they're loving and sometimes I'm wrathful. That's how it is around my house anyway. <laughs> um, so, but we have to ask, wait a minute, you know, as we're listening to scripture, uh, if God is not exactly like us, then his wrath is not just like ours, nor is his love just like ours, either one. So then you have to be kind of re-willing to redefine these things and find places where they're uh, coordinated. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my notes on that kind of thing, but there are dozens and dozens of verses that uh, show that God is to be understood and explains himself primarily in terms of his loving purposes. Now, we have to go on and say what that is, too. Um, but wrath and love are not two coordinated, equal, and independent ways of describing God throughout scripture, okay? His love or compassion is primary. His wrath is secondary. Um, so there's a lot of scripture to put together, but also if we know God in Christ, which is gonna be the center of the center, as I talked to some of you about four years ago, um, do, we see, do we see Jesus kind of equally wrathful and equally angry? It's like one moment he's on this side, the other moment he's on that side. He's kind of about both things. You know, he's blessing, he's condemning. He's raising people to life and he's putting people to death. Is that what he's doing? Is that the picture you get of the character of God seeing Jesus? Now you do see some moments of wrath that we can talk about that. But do you get the idea that, that he's like uh, two-sided, two-faced, and he's equally both? He's perfectly happy to be kind of wrathful and angry and condemning and then on, the, on his good days, you know, he's happy and joyful and blessing. Does he both bless and condemn equally? Is that what you see? Right. No, not at all. Um, and of course, God's own self-definition is what you see in Jesus. This is the fullness of deity. So what lines up when we read the Bible? What lines up with who Christ is? Tom Torrance is a question that a soldier dying on, on the battlefield uh, where he was serving as a military chaplain asked him, Tom, that is God like Jesus all the way down? And Tom said, and could say, yes. God is like Jesus all the way down. 
So if now you have the reality in front of you, the character of Jesus, which is the character of God, then how does that help us interpret scripture as well? And I don't think we see there's two sides to God, that God is a Jekyll and Hyde uh, character, you know, that God is kind of, to use a, a generic term, not schizophrenic, you know, that's in psychological terms, that's not exactly right, but in popular terms, having these two sides, um, uh, we don't see that. So you have to take scripture, you have to take the person of, of Christ, uh, and then you have to kind of keep on working. Well, then what is the nature of wrath and, uh, and God's love? But I think the, the obvious conclusion is God is not equally, sometimes I put it this way, God is not equally predisposed to love and wrath to blessing and condemnation. They're radically asymmetrical. And so how I put it together, and this is skipping over a lot of pieces, but I just say his wrath serves his loving purposes. It's to get us to turn around, to receive his love. And they're not opposed to each other. So sometimes 